So if I take a look at my existing block here, it's kind of working pretty good. I've got my depth and my width defined here. So I can come in here and I can take the width and I can I can stretch the depth and everything's working pretty good. The problem is that we have set versions of this block. It's not like somebody can go in there and say, ah, give me a 32 inch depth by 48. We have specific versions that we manufacture this, this wet bar in. And I don't want anybody to pick like a custom size that's not available. So I'm just going to right click here to reset this block. And I'm going to come in here and let's do a right click and let's go into the block editor. So the first step I need to do is I don't want the user of the block to be able to use these. So I'm just going to take these and I'm going to say, you know, don't show the properties and set the number of grips to zero because I don't want that to appear on the screen. So when they select it, they won't get the grips, they won't see the properties. Um, it's just not an option to them. Now you're saying, well, then how are they going to change this? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to my parameters tab here and I'm going to add a lookup. Now at this point, all I'm really doing is defining where I want the, the grip to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the grip here. I'm going to put it to a spot that's not really going to change. So I'm just going to put the grip down here at the bottom. So there's my lookup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this lookup here and I'm just going to give it a better name. So um, whoops, that's the grip. I should actually set the parameter itself. So I'm going to take this and let's just call this the um, you know, bar configuration. And I'm good with, with the rest of that. So yes, show the properties and the number of grips is going to be one. Well, now I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the actions tab here and I'm going to assign a lookup action and I'm going to assign it to this parameter. Now by doing so, it automatically launches the property lookup table. Now after the fact, if I can go back here and modify it, I just double click on it and it's going to take me right back into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the properties because what I want to do is I want to add bar depth and bar width. So I'm going to add those properties together. So I've now added bar depth and bar width to the list. Um, and you can see here that you know I can right click and I can you know, maximize headings and sorts and, and those type of things. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to have the bar depth at 26. I'm going to have a second version at 26. I'm going to have a 32 inch version. I'm going to have a 36 inch version and then my 50 inch version. So now what I can do is come in here and say, okay, at this point here, what I want is I want to have 36 and I'm still limited by the, by the increment. I've got a two inch increment on that. So if I was to come in here and I was to type 37, I'll make a liar out of me. It should, should round that up. I guess when I do the audit, it's, when I click audit here, it should actually come in and, and switch that. So let's just change this to 40. Let's just fill these values in here. Let's say at 32, we're going to have 38. Um, at 36, we're going to have 50. And then at 50, we're going to have the full 72. So you can see here how I was able to enter in those, um, those values. Now the configuration here, this is going to be our standard. This is going to be our standard plus. This is going to be the um, XL. This is going to be the XXD version. And this is going to be the XXD plus version. Okay. Now in this case here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK. And what it's done now is to find that lookup and that action. Now, like I said, if I double click on it, I'm going to right click. There's a way to go back into that. Nope. No. Go to my properties and double click is where I can go and get back into that. All right, so I've set that up. It looks good. Let's go close this. Let's go try it. So I'm save my changes. I'm going to pick on this here. And now what I can see is that notice that the, the width and the depth don't appear, but notice that the bar configuration does. And this is where I can come in here and say, okay, show me the standard plus, show me the XL, show me the XXD. And finally, show me the XXD plus. So the idea is that I can come in here and I can pick from the various sizes. Um, and now I've got these can variations. So now the user can't just pick whatever size they want. They got to pick within that range. So it's applying lookups um, to define or control your parameters in your actions.